This video will show you how to adjust a commercial, in-wall, occupancy and vacancy sensor. Put savings in motion with Intermatic's occupancy and vacancy sensors. Like this video with a thumbs up at the end. So we've installed a commercial DSR occupancy and vacancy sensor and turned the power back on. Please note, it'll take about three minutes for the switch to calibrate the first time you turn it on. Remove the small cover plate to make adjustments. The modes are explained on the back of the cover plate. The DSR model has a user selectable auto, occupancy, or vacancy mode. Auto set occupancy mode with walkthrough is on the left. Occupancy mode is in the center. Now both of these modes are based on occupancy patterns. The difference between the two is auto has a walkthrough mode feature. On the right is vacancy mode. And this setting is for manual on and automatic off after a set time delay. In vacancy mode, you have to push the button to turn the load on. To adjust the range, turn the knob from the center default position of 65%. Turn it left to 1 or 30% to help avoid false alerts in smaller rooms. Now, for larger rooms, up to 1,200 square feet, increase the range by turning the dial right towards 4 or 100%. Walk around the room to test the time delay. Use the knob on the left to adjust in any increment from 15 seconds up to 30 minutes. Press the button to manually turn on or off the light in any mode. In occupancy or vacancy mode, expect a 5 second re-trigger delay between on and off. If the button is pressed repeatedly, there will be a time delay while the switch recharges. Well, thanks for watching today's iTip. You can post comments or ask a question below please like it and click on the red button to become a subscriber.